welcome to another session of outdoor tree talk in city of chicago and today i am introducing you a new concept which i appreciated this is a jogging trail bike trail cycling trail over the abandoned railway line earlier it was railway line because after chicago fire of 1871 government thought of construction in this area and for transportation of material and men and material they brought this rail line in existence which was named as bloomingdale railway line but after that it was abandoned as there was much habitation and uh, railway line was elevated so that there are not mortalities due to collision with the goods train ultimately this elevated train track was also abandoned and then it was just left to oblivion and locals or natives surrounding this rail head line they just started visiting this or traversing this as morning walk location or just to enjoy the wilderness and different view points of the surrounding city ultimately in 2015 with the community participation and the innovative idea was floated to convert this abandoned rail line into the trail park linear trail park which is named as 606 linear park why 606 because many postal zip codes in this area start with 606 and it is also named as blooming dale trail as it was earlier named as blooming dale train rail line so on that context it has two three names and it is is about 2.7 miles a linear stretch and this is considered as second largest in the world the first largest linear park trail is in paris france a uh, promenade plenty and this linear trail in the western chicago which runs in east to west direction is about 4.3 km and that is calculated as 2.7 miles so it starts from walsh park which is here it has the yellowing leaves of kentucky coffee tree and also the pink foliage of maple which i think it should be asar fremenai and then there are bushes there are grasses there are flowers and this track goes towards west side having many view points on the way and uh, kids park and churchill field park demons horse plaza and many other fascinating locations on the way towards the east side so let us just have a walk on this linear trail park to get the idea how this park got into present form with the contribution from various innovators community groups and this trail has over 39 bridges under which various streets road street roads pass and people use this linear trail for jogging walking cycling and conducting astronomical nights because there are observatories on 
the western side where during night times on particular days uh, star studies conducted and this is golden rod solid ago uh, solid ago canadensis but apart from solid ago canadensis they have also introduced different species of solid ago and uh, before me you see this is another northern bayberry this is a female tree with the uh, blue colored berries this is in fact the american coffal in jammu and kashmir we have the coffal myrica esculenta whereas this myrica is pennsylvanica and the this has the male and female separate tree individuals and this stands introduce in the linear trail park so there are many side ways also like this one which i am now traversing but the main trail uh, is about 14 feet wide separate lanes for joggers and cyclists and apart from this 14 feet trail there is left and right green belt where select species stands introduced which are very colorful and they add charm to the trail during different seasons this is the bridge overhead bridge on this trail and on the way i will try to see but flowers for example this is anemone anemone hybrids white blossoming this is blooming right now this is false sunflower with golden yellow blossoms and tri nerved leaves this is also blooming this is sunfury corpus albus shrub bush which has the white berries so species name is albus ha ah. there are pines different pines different milk weeds milk weeds have been introduced purposefully as uh, milk weeds attract one of the vulnerable butterfly beautiful butterfly of america that is named as monarch butterfly denis plexpus and it lays its eggs and it nectars on various milk weeds so there are about half a dozen milk weeds most common milk weed which is introduced along this linear trail park is asclepia sidiaca but there is also orange milk weed which is asclepia tuberosa and asclepia tuberosa is blooming before me you can appreciate its color it is a kind of relative of arc telotropis procera which we see in jam and you see this milk weed is not only the host flowering bush for monarch butterfly but also it is a luring many honey bees leaves are opposite and this has fascinating flowers it is adding color to the trail as well as it is feeding honey bees and also butterflies especially monarch butterfly denis plexippus you find introduction of various oaks here there is a lot of diversity of oaks quercus in north america and you see this oak before me is bar oak which is largest the corn among oaks so one of the oak you are able to spot which has solar corona like structure leaves are lobed and it is introduced here so this is a kind of white oak named as bar oak 
work as an actor of that uh, you have side walls with this foliage as well as blossoms honeymoon and then this bush which particular bush that have fascinating flowering during suffering season and this is again quercus macrocarpa var baroque tree and uh, this is a fountain grass earlier it was a penicetum now they call sangras and this is another unique oak which is called chinka pin oak quercus mohalan varji so this has not deeper lobing rather wavy margins and uh, simple leaves this one and it is also having a corn so this is chinka pin oak and here before me you have the jop ivy which attracts butterflies when it is flowering stage but after fruiting it is a food source for many songbirds and all these are chinka pin oaks quercus mohalan varji so this bush is already at fruiting stage eutrochium is its botanical identity uh, here i will show you this is another species of sunflower not true sunflower but this is named as downy sunflower as it has the hairy stems and nodding golden blossoms leaves are opposite they are simple and this is the common milkweed this is Ascalpias sagiaca with follicles. This is golden rod solidago canadensis. And uh, here I will show you another blossom to be called Helianthus mollis. That is downy sunflower. So this is not the true sunflower. It's a true sunflower species, no doubt, but not the more familiar Helianthus. It has smaller blossoms and greenish central disc florets. Uh, this is another bridge. So, number of such bridges which cross over various streets and roads is 39. Uh, this is the another yellow flowering, lanky uh, flowering bush which is in fact named as sylphium sylphium terivinthinaceum uh, also named as prairie dock and white dock because it has very large leaves which show the simple lamina very large long stalked leaf and this leafless branched stem which has the Capitula. So this is not sunflower, but this is Sylphium terivinthin asium, and these are very large leaves, which orient towards sky, and they uh, are aggregated at the base, not at the along the stems. You have only panicles and these capitula. Uh, this is the unique berry, which uh, fruits mature in June. So this is called as the June berry. Another name is service berry. Fruits are edible. All this uh, yellow ornamental flowers are of Sylphium, Perivinthinaceum and many honeybees are seen, seen on this flowering bush. Here also you can see the close-up of this capitulum of Sylphium terivinthinaceum and honeybee is at work so it should not be confused with sunflower 
Uh, here I uh, come across the northern uh, Catalpa, Catalpa speciosa, and on this I find some birds activity, some warblers, though the, it is not in the flowering stage, but you see these tiny birds, small birds, which seem to be like some kind of finch or warbler maybe finch because tail is not very long and these are the fruiting pods which are hanging in clusters so this blue colored trail is meant for the joggers and buckers it has very soft touch so you don't feel any hard surface if you walk and go for jogging on this track here is this middle one is for the cyclists people always take to right unlike India where we always take to left and here I will show you beautiful Yes sir, this maple will have its colorful foliage during autumn, but it is unique. So we are familiar with exfoliating bark of birch, bhojpatra. But apart from bhojpatra, we also have exfoliating bark in one esser, which is named as paper bark maple. So it has papery bark, which is exfoliating. and the leaves are born in opposite pairs but each leaf is trifoliate and this paper bark maple is acer grisea which stands planted along the linear trail blooming dale trail here are four scythia bushes which have no flowers right now uh, and uh, this one is Fraxinus, Fraxinus Pennsylvanica, and the, this line is devoted to cultivation of paper bark maple, as well as Grisium. See the beauty of bark, which is exfoliating nicely, and it will add color to the bark during autumn uh, as well. On either side of this track, these maples are growing. This side also you have the acer grisium and this side also you have the acer grisium. So this is stretcher, you can name it as paper bark maple tunnel. It's a kind of green tunnel. Why I'm telling you all this because in Jammu region also we have some abandoned track which was in use before it, India got partition. So that r abandoned railway line could have been developed like this linear trail with addition of ornamental flowers, bushes, trees that could be even thought of now also. So we need to learn from this innovative idea, how we can converse the earlier train track and once it got into disuse, so it has been developed nicely for this multi-purpose trail. So all this jopai weed fruiting at this stage, but these fruits capsula will allure many finches, birds, including the cardinal bird, cardinalis, cardinalis, service very because this fruiting takes place during the month of June and this is amelanchier. Here you have the rosa rugosa, very fragrant flowers and this is false indigo, Baptisia australis with blue flowers and here you have an exit 
those who want to exit they can go those who want to continue the walk or cycling can continue to go to the west side so it starts from the ashland avenue and it is straight linear park it ends at ridgeland here you have the love grass and here you have the sankras chicago district park is managing this park and you have various view points where you can stop and have a view of the surroundings so this particular blooming rail train run and many activities are organized throughout the year and here you have the campuses trumpet wine flowers here all roses here you have fusa fusa occidentalis bushes here it is simphori corpus albus and why albus because it has the wild white colored berries and it has basically pink colored flowers leaves are born in opposite pairs so because of these white berries it is named as simphori corpus albus and this is dogwood here is the exit but i would like to continue and here i have come across the beautiful run and colors like foliage but this flower is so fascinating it is named as poppy mallow so neither it is poppy neither it is mallow mallow means malwa sochal and this is named as wine cup flower is named popularly as wine cup its foliage is like this it is a trailing plant and this is a adding color to the linear trail here and this is in botany named as caliro in valley creta so this is all the flowers of campsis radicans growing on the wall so even wall stands made green so that there is greenery all around you have fresh air while you walk or jog along the linear trail which is not less than 4.3 km many grasses stands included here for example this is blue grass which is called as Shyjocarium scoparium. You have different species of Asclepias, and this seems to be Asclepias, I think. If not Asclepias, then it may be Ansonia. Because if it is Asclepias, then it should have milk latex. Otherwise, this is Ansonia hybridity, thread leaf, blue star. so you have another creeper here which is showing in this pink foliage and this is parthenocissus tricuspidata this is i think Asclepias, as it has oozed latex, so this is Asclepias verticillata. It is not Ansonia. Uh, you find different kinds of trees, grasses, bushes, creepers along this 2.7 miles linear trail track. which was earlier used for transportation of men and material by the railway as blooming railway line but now it is converted into beautiful 
fascinating linear park so here you have the bread food pier this is pyrus but unique flowering takes place during spring season there are benches where you can sit and relax and there are different kinds of bushes the bush which now you see this white flowering this is late bone set this is jupitorium altissimum here is also another blue flowering composite which is also seen in kashmir this is sicorium intibus hand posh and here you have the jingo vilova jingo vilova turns gold during autumn so it is also under the autumn gold tree it's a very living fossil tree fully turns golden yellow it has male and female separate trees so it is dioecious mostly male trees are preferred soon dandy this is unique plant which i came across in city of chicago and it is growing here also from a distance it looks like hippophyr ramnoides c buckthorn but it is not as it has no spines leaves on upper side surface they are dark green but under surface is quite white cottony white this is a salix willow kind of veer badda but um, so this is salix elegnos and it has been rightly named as elegnos after the elegnus it has the superficial look like that of c buckthorn which is elegnus elegnus ramnoides but this is willow so it has been named as c buckthorn leaf hello are salix alagnos this is unique tree which i came across here and this is a grass stretch uh, interrupted with interspersed with the green frosted flowers of this is wine cup that is calyro involucrata and nearby you see the beautiful red admiral butterfly that is vanessa atalanta quite common butterfly here and here you find this trail is also serving the purpose of conservation of different kinds of butterflies and you see the blossoms of calyro involucrata and butterfly there is also old man's beard that is clematis white flowers this is again salix alagnos this is the tunnel of oak you can say this is oak tunnel but this oak species is different this is quercus bicolor also named as swamp oak on either side you have these row of oaks these are oak trees so this side you see even the acorns acorns are covered half by the scaly cup and leaves are white on the under surface and green on the upper surface and this is its acorn this is quercus bicolor swamp oak which stands planted along the trail and people are walking jogging and also reaching their determined destinations if they want to reach by cycling or walking and these are the flowers of late bone set also known as fever bird and why bone set because traditional use of this shrub was for healing the wounds 
pain of bones caused due to fevers, high grade fever like dengue fever. So it got its name after that use as the late bone set, but it is also alluring many honeybees and it is named botany as uh, Eupatorium altissimum. These are its foliage, these are its flowers. And this whole row is dedicated for the cultivation of oaks. And interspersed with tetalpa, species of trees which add beauty during early summer with their white flowers. This is service berry, Amelanchia, Amelanchia arborea. And there is lace alum, and that is Almas parviflora. Uh, as autumn approaches, you will see more beauty of the deciduous trees around, and one you can see sunny side which is getting more sun, the foliage is already fascinating, orange pink and this is Asar Freemani and this leads to the track below there is a park, garden. So along the trail and track you have about 5-6 parks, so this is the Texas shrubbery, these are oaks, these are maples, and this is Kentucky coffee tree, Gymnocladus diacus, which is also called as tumble tree as it will lose its leaves, and this is one of the tree which loses its leaves before any other tree loses leaves, so it becomes leafless early in the autumn and then remains leafless for at least six months. So it has been named as stump tree. Also named as Kentucky coffee tree. This is endemic to North America. And this was also declared as the state tree for Kentucky from 1973 to 1994. After that, tulip tree, Eurodendron tulipifera stands declared as state tree for Kentucky. So this trail had, so Demonors Plaza covered, Churchill Field Park covered, and now we will probably uh, proceed towards the west trail head to see the Julia D. Burgos Park, and then Humboldt Overlook, Humboldt Park is also there, and then that Exilon Observatory. So we started from Walsh Park, that is Marsh Field Avenue, then we came to Wood Street, then cross Daman Avenue, then Milwaukee Avenue is coming, then Western Avenue, then Rockwell Street we will cross, then California Avenue, then Humboldt Boulevard we have to cross, then Dimple Street we will cross, uh, Spalding Avenue we will cross, Drake Avenue we will cross, and then Lawndale Avenue, and then ultimately that location where this linear trail ends is the Ridgeway Avenue. And there you can see the Exilon Observatory. So on the way, many bridges where you don't find the greenery at some spots, but otherwise the whole track is almost green, decorated with foliage, flowers, and through the day people are coming and going, running and jogging and it is estimated about 10 lakh people use this track during one year. And here you find another bush which is chokeberry, black colored chokeberry. This is Juneberry, a service berry, Amelanchier arborea. And here you see the train track, which is in use. This is blue line is still 
in operation but this moves in other direction towards north whereas this trail is running from east to west one particular tree which finds its presence everywhere is almas so many elms they are unique and endemic to america especially the almas americana but that is susceptible to dutch elm disease and many trees were wiped out so now they have bred new varieties for example uh, morton elm or princeton elm all blank